What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Fighting Fire with Fire, the AJ Rose Show. We're going to do a quick rundown of some of the really intense MLB pennant races that have sprung up over the last couple weeks, especially the one in the National League with involving the San Diego Padres, San Francisco Giants, and Colorado Rockies. Um, a couple months ago, or actually just a month ago, the Padres seemed to have this division locked up. They were one of the feel-good stories of the year because they have such a small salary, I think like $35 million compared to like $200 million for the Yankees, if you want like a comparison. And uh, they were doing great, and all of a sudden they lost 10 games in a row, and the Giants and Rockies started getting hot, especially the Rockies, who are just get, seem to do this every single September and creep up on people. But uh, now the Rockies are down by two and a half games behind the Padres, and I believe the Giants are only behind by one or one and a half games, and the Rockies are also two games behind, uh, two and a half games behind the Giants for the wild card. So, what this uh, what this means is that I think the Padres are going to continue to be, as Tony Kornheiser on PTI loves to point out, choking dogs, and I think they're not going to win the division, they're not going to win the wild card, they're going to be out of the playoffs, and everybody's going to jump on them because this was one of their bigger chances. They're a small market team, which means they're not going to be good every year like the Yankees and Red Sox, you know what I mean? Um, the other race that's going on is obviously in my own division where my Red Sox have, are kaput, they're done, they're out of it, but the Yankees and Rays... This series, the Rays are now back up by a half game in the AL East. It's going to come right down to the wire. I'm very excited about it. I think the Rays are going to win the division, and I think they're going to go to the World Series. I think they're going to beat the Yankees in the uh, ALCS. We'll see about that. The Rangers have their division locked up. The Reds have their division locked up. Um, the other pennant race that's going on is between the Phillies and the Braves. Uh, it was kind of a couple of months ago people were talking about, can the Braves hold on to this league? Because we knew that Philadelphia wasn't playing their best baseball. But now the Phillies are ahead by two and a half or three games in the uh, NL East, I think. I really don't know my baseball that well. But now the Braves seem to be faltering. The Phillies seem to be playing better. And, uh, you know, Roy Halladay's won 19 games because he's just doing his thing. I mean, if he can do it in the American League for the Blue Jays all his career. Of course he's going to do it for the Phillies. Um, the other great thing about this baseball uh, month is a lot of the awards are up in the air. AL and NL MVP, AL and NL Cy Young. So it's going to be really interesting to see how many pitchers get to 20 wins, what batters like Joey Votto, Pujols, all these guys, Troy Tutlewitz or whatever his name is, uh, for the Rockies who had seven RBIs last night and two home runs. Whew, the Rockies are so hot. I think they could win that division. That'd be so cool. Just like in 2007 when they won 21 out of 22 games and got to the World Series. But uh, either way, if you're a baseball fan, this is great. And if you're not a baseball fan like me, it's also great because you can just kind of push baseball to the side and uh, watch the NFL. So thank you for watching Fighting Fire, Fire with Fire. I'm AJ Rose and I am out.